Greetings Internet Land. I want to shoot this quick video. My name is Ivan Dixon. I'm coming to you live from my home office. And I want to show you how robust this email verifying system is. This is for people that have already have the uh, software and it's downloaded. You already have it up on your uh, screen here. This is the interface. If you have not purchased the software, there's a link below here. You can purchase the software and the download link will come to you and you can rewind this video and watch it. Now, I've been using email verifiers. I have yet to find one. There's free ones. There's paid ones. There's even ones that you um, load up your leads and run off their servers and none of them really gave me the results and now I can make a video and stand behind this software 100% knowing that I can get great accuracy. Listen everyone, there's not a 100% verifier out there that can 100% uh, verify your list but I can most definitely live with 90 plus percent and that's what I have here I've already tested over and over have yet to see any faults in it and it gives me so much great functionality I'm gonna show you how to upload your list how to run it and really truly uh, get this software to working up to your optimal uh, that it can work in okay so with that said let's get started first of all we got to most definitely upload your list doesn't matter what type of file you have Excel CSV text file whatever it is okay so we're gonna go ahead and create now as you see here it has an order of weight which the lead list can be uploaded now for example you may have just a list of emails then you don't need to change anything uh, for me I have name email phone number addresses and all that and most of the time you have to pull that stuff out well with this software you can leave your list the way it is and you can format it the way your list is now I'm gonna show you how to insert characters where you can upload your name the phone number and addresses and things of that nature along with the email so for example you don't see there but before we get started with that let's first name this we're gonna call it test test one as the uh, actual list name list description we'll call it leads and again you can name it anything you want we're just doing demonstration purposes now I want to put a name in there and characters of name and phone number so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and insert you see over here to the right insert and put in name okay now that's in there now I want to insert phone number okay and if you want to insert anything else address and goes on and on now once I have that I want to move it up name is gonna go right there okay and then I want to move a phone number it's gonna go next to email so now I have name email phone number country whatever if I want to put address like I have in my others now um, I already have a list saved now once you have the list formatted you save it here so you don't have to keep doing it everyone we want to make sure that you understand that once you have a structured list you can have multiple structured lists and then you just save it now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load a list that I already have okay so let me go ahead and do that no I do not want to save it that's what they're asking me so I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my structured list which is under my documents email verifier format and as you see it changed real quick name email phone number address city state zip code that's how I have it structured okay now once that happens I'm good to go I can go ahead and down here and push create okay now if I'm moving too fast for you just rewind it like I said this software is so good to to basically customize I've yet to find a software especially email verifying software where I can change around the format here's another great feature about this email software settings I want to show you this real quick as I go through this demonstration on some of the other functionality that you can really customize to give you the optimal performance now here you have general uh, you can enable these and you want to keep this at default settings but let me show you something that's really powerful we have direct connection also you can connect to a proxy server a random proxy web script and this right here everyone this right here is absolutely amazing uh, you can get your API uh, key which basically can check those free emails like Yahoo AOLs AT&T's because the problem with most of these verifiers is that they can't get a fix on the free emails Well, they have this added bonus that you can most definitely purchase you an API key and that's uh, on a case by case basis okay then we have the DNS now make sure here that you put in a from email address and the domain this is very important when you're checking with a direct connection like this okay a direct connection you most definitely need to have that in there and then you can test it to make sure that it passed okay 
you can get your DNS also, but you most definitely want to make sure that it passed. Now, uh, you got your rules here. This is pretty, pretty, pretty powerful. Look at this, everyone. You can mark, like when you get those emails that you harvest, because if you're harvesting emails with software, you most definitely got these type of emails. And these emails, you don't really want to email them. You know, you really don't. So what you do is, if you have these emails inside your list, click these. Just click them. Okay, whatever correspond, and then you can go ahead and push OK. Now I have mine on click because I don't. I have a list that are clear of these, but I know that when you do extraction emails and you're scraping leads, you get these type of emails all the time. And look here, you can even do not check these. Now, for some cases, if you want to do not check those because you know they're already good, you can, like I say, click them. Whatever's click. It is, it's going to mark it do not check. Now I have it set at default which is unchecked. Here it tells you what it means when you have each one checked. It means it's going to mark it as what it says here. These are the rules. All right, And this is like I say customized. So if I had a um, like I said a harvested list and I know I have these in here I would check these every time. Okay. Now another one is a rule by code. Now these are all defaulted. When you get a um, unknown emails this is one of the reasons why they have the different codes so if you have a list of a lot of unknown emails it's because it fall under one of these categories see I love this software because it doesn't just verify but it tells you most of the time what the reason why it's unknown that's why you want to run that unknown unknown list uh, two days later usually after about 48 hours is what they tell you okay then we have what we call a color theme this just tells you what it means. You have timeout, you have unknown is your yellows and timeout. Your red or it looks like pink is your bad emails. Good means green. <laughs> green means good. Okay? And then you have what we call new emails, which is in white. All this right here is under your settings. And you most definitely can mess around with this. But again, this right here is just by far the best email software out there because you can do so much customized functionality to it to really fine tune this to work to your optimization that you want it to work at. And uh, you know, as I go on to the next understanding of this email software, you're looking around. So with that said, I have that in there. Now what I want to do is import my list. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and import. Now we can do text, we can do HTML, Excel, Word file, Lotus doesn't matter as you see there's a lot I want you to look at that before I start now for demonstration purposes I'm gonna do a CSV text file now I can do Excel if I wanted to also but I'm gonna do a CSV text file because I know a lot of people that if you're getting leads that's how you get them in a CSV file so why not show you if you have a big lead list okay now with that said I'm gonna go ahead and push next now what I'm going to do is I'm going to import a list. Now as you see I have plenty of lists and I'm going to pick one. It's already one is set aside that's called test. There we go right there. I'm going to go ahead and pull that up. Now once it's in there as you see it's there. I'm going to go ahead and go next. Now all this right here don't worry about this. Keep it the same. There is some custom functionality but I'm going to show you how to run the basic part of it. Keep it comma. You don't need silicone, uh, semicolon or tab. Just keep it where it is comma delimited okay and then go to next don't worry about any of this either again this is just ways to basically customize but I'm showing you really how to just upload your list real simplistic without having to know about all this and you can go back in there and study all this but after watching this video you will become a professional email verifier now as you see I got the name email phone number okay you see all that right there we go even city and state now I'm gonna go to next now as you see here it has it you want to check this box and you want to to go in order fill one is name fill two email just follow along as you see fill three it's real simple see that four mm -hmm. five six seven now everything needs to be checked here because you want that to show up okay now if you uncheck it, it won't show up now you can always like I say customize it I want the verification results they automatically show up but I just push that anyway all this will show up automatically but these are the fields that are customized to my leads okay now once I do that I'm gonna go ahead and push next now watch it go ahead and populate 
the leads are popping. Look at that, everyone. They're all there. They're all there. Now you can upload thousands. If you have a list of a hundred thousand, you know, two hundred thousand, it can upload it. My suggestion is if you have a million leads, break them up into segments, modules. It's just easier to do that than to try and load up one million emails because there's going to be some issues. So my suggestion if you have anything over fifty thousand leads, break them up into modules. That's just my opinion because I've been using, I've uploaded two hundred thousand. Uh, before but I noticed that it's easier to break them down into segments of 50,000 okay now once I do that this is a smaller list actually you'll see how many it is now everything is set up in just keep it where it is go ahead and execute now as you see the leads are there there they are everyone they are right there waiting on me now once I do that I'm gonna go ahead and push start this is absolutely amazing now watch how quickly it works now here you can set let me show you this here this connection shows that it's gonna check seven emails uh, every time it checks it's simultaneously gonna check seven now my suggestion is is that you know you want to get group results you can go all the way up to 500 as you see if I run the it'll tell you anywhere from 1 to 500 I've gotten great results with just 7 to 10 you know if you want to do 50 but again it moves fast so as you'll see it will go fast and again this is adjusted to where you want it I have it at 7 works great for me now once I do that I'm gonna go ahead and push start now as you see here it's going it's processing I have 10 good ones unknown is 60 but again it's pulling good emails alright it's pulling I have one bad now unknown doesn't mean that's a bad email it's just that it can't do the check and I'd rather for it to be an unknown because in the tutorial with this software which you get a PDF it'll tell you why it's unknown there's different reasons why it's unknown and I'm not gonna get into that I'm just showing you how well it worked now as you see it's already processed my total I only had 500 in that list now how you see how fast that went and it's still processing but it's already uploaded my 500 leads and it's still going through uh, checking now again I have 12 bad emails in there I have 187 unknown doesn't mean it's bad it just means it needs to be rechecked maybe two days later uh, because again unknown doesn't mean it's bad it just never sent back a signal now how many email uh, verifiers have you run across that do it like that now I have good email I can feel good that I have 274 good emails I have 20 bad ones and then I have 197 unknowns now what you can do here is you can stroll through this and it'll show you color coded for you red shows that it's a bad email green shows it's a good email and yellow means it's unknown okay and again I ran across verifiers that would make these unknowns good emails and they're not good and they're not bad either but I've ran across verifiers just to give me the results and as you see it has plenty of green and yellow okay just want to show you that now again this email software verifier is the best out there on the market again if you if you don't have it go below here go ahead and order it you'll get your download link uh, really quick uh, the, once you pay for it and everything now the great part about this is once you've done all this now that uh, it's finished because it's saying it's finished because it's showing all right here I have 274 good I have 20 that's not good at all I have 197 that is unknown now with that what I'll do is I'll run that 197 later okay usually two days later and again there's a PDF that you can also download uh, once you get the software that I'll send out to you that'll show you the different codes and everything like I said this is by far the best out there once I do that I can export it let's go ahead and export all good ones okay now I can export all good ones in text format like I have them okay you see that semicolon tab whatever con no we're gonna go with con comma you know I'll go through there again I have it formatted that way go through all that I'm just showing you next how simple it is keep it the way it is and then all I do is name it to what I want now that's test one and I can send it to whatever file I want to send it to okay now what I'm gonna do is send it to my documents boom it's on documents I'm gonna go ahead and save and then I'm gonna go ahead and execute okay boom all my good leads are there now get this everyone let's just say I want I want to save and export my unknown emails I'm gonna go here and go to unknown okay all my unknown emails again through the same format text 
okay comma okay it's all like I said it's functionalities that you can just don't worry about it right now this is just showing you how to just upload it like I said really quick okay everything is next 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 and again if I'm going too fast everyone this is exciting you know when you have something that works this good and then you execute I just unloaded now I said I couldn't export it because apparently I did the wrong format which is okay I can go back in here and I can do a different format let's go with uh, Excel spreadsheet okay and I can just go through it like here go next 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 everything is good I can upload it to wherever I want actually I had to rename it that's why I didn't you know so I'll save it here save it execute boom there you go see I'm not going to edit this video because, as you see, I just saved it to a Excel sheet instead of a text file. And again, I could have saved it to a text file, but I think because it already had that name in there, it's usually what happens. So, and then there's one more, everyone. I can ex my bad emails. Now we don't have a reason to upload bad emails. If I wanted to do it, I could. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete those bad emails. I don't want the bad emails, okay? So uh, they'll be deleted out the system. So again, everyone, if, if I went too fast, just rewind the video. I just want to shoot this quick video on this wonderful software. Again, if you don't have the software, below here you can buy it, and you'll get the download link, and you can be using this software. Again, this is not one of those free softwares. This is a true, true software you buy, everyone. All right, if you've been using those free uh, email verifiers, fires you might as well throw them out the door they're no good uh, it's a waste and you'll mess around and thinking that you have a clean list and you don't you be getting bounce backs okay all right well thank you so much again my name is Ivan Dixon and again if you want to most definitely order this verifier everything is right there and if you already ordered it I want to thank you for ordering the software and I want to wish you all success in all your email verifying email marketing and everything you do because I specialize in email marketing and so this is my niche and I enjoy showing other people how to do it okay with that said make it a great day and I'll see you on the beaches of the world talk with you soon